Next topic, Big Ten better or worse. I want to go through every team in the Big Ten from last season. I want you to tell me whether they're going to be better or worse next season. We're going to go back to our good friend, Ken Pomeroy, Mr. Pomwaz, rankings Pomeroy. at the end of last season. And uh, we're just going to use use the rankings. And you tell me, do they finish higher or lower than where they finished last season? So we'll start at the top. Purdue finished third in the country in Ken Palm's rankings. Will they be better or worse? They'll be they'll be worse. They'll be worse. Still a good basketball team, but they're they're going to be worse. There's like a ten percent chance they are better though, right? Like ten percent, five percent, five percent are the same. I keep comparing it to Denzel Valentine's Michigan State years. There's a chance that Braden is just that good, and they actually take a step forward post ED. There's a better chance. than th- better than third. Yeah. Like there's there is a there's a small tiny window where Purdue's the best team in the country next year, and it's just Braden Smith is Denzel Valentine senior year good. Okay, but you're saying worse though. I'm saying worse. That's the likely outcome, but I want it known there's a window. Okay, there's a window. Okay. There's a window. Hello. Illinois is tenth. That's where they finished last season. Are they better or worse? A lot of moving parts with Illinois right now. A lot of moving parts. They weren't in either of our way too early top 10, so I would assume you think worse. Yeah, I'm going to have to say worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying of you acting like, like, yeah, it might be better if we just didn't talk about them. In the I was, I was going to I was gonna see what I could do there. I was going to see how I could workshop this, but I'm going to say worse. I think it's pretty clearly worse. Uh, I like the Boswell pickup. We're going to do a video on him in just a few moments here, but um, – I, I just don't see the star power. I mean, you you lost three stars, and to me, they haven't gotten any this offseason yet. So you're hoping on, like, a collective, unselfish good team, which I'm sure will happen. But I need to see at least one, like, blue chip. Like, they need, like, an AJ store or somebody like that. Yeah, You said three stars. Is, are you assuming Damask is gone? I am assuming Damask is gone. I know they're trying to work that. Um, I don't know that they're going to be successful. Yeah, I never doubt Illinois lawyers. They, uh, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next. No, up. no, no. I, I, I was talking about like the tr- the credits transferring over. For, oh, got it. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Next. Next up, uh, Michigan State, sixteenth. Did you know that you finished sixteenth on Ken Palm this season? We're gonna be worse. You finished two spots below Alabama, one spot below Baylor, two spots ahead of Mark Pope. <laughs> like. Yeah. 30 spots ahead of Dusty May. Uh, we're going to be – we're gonna, yeah, we're going to be worse. That last one stung. Yeah, you're going to be worse. Yeah. Like a lot like a lot worse. We're definitely going to be worse. Yeah, like a lot worse. For sure going to be worse. Yeah, like a lot worse. For sure, definitely a great chance we're worse. Like a lot worse. Uh, all right, Greg. Yeah. Who's who's your best player next season? Uh, Jay Nakins. <laughs> <laughs> Next up's Wisconsin. They're seventeenth. God, they were seventeenth. They're gonna lose Tyler Wall. They're gonna lose AJ Store, but they bring back a good core of Chucky Hepburn and uh, Max Klesman and John Blackwell. I think can take a big leap forward. Yeah, I don't. For some reason, actually, I'm gonna go ahead. I think they're gonna be. I think they're gonna be better. Or the same? You got to pick better or worse. Okay, better. I'm going to say better too, but I feel really gross about it. I thought I about too. I thought about Wisconsin at 10 in the spot I gave Indiana on the other thing. Um, wow. It depends on who they get. They're trying to get your boy Fiddler. It sounds like a Michigan State-Wisconsin arms race for the best player. Well, sorry, like the fourth best player in the Summit League. Uh, I... I think Blackwell's really good, and I think some of these younger Badgers are really good too. Like, I think Carter Gilmore is going to be a dude. Um, and I think – I don't know. I just think there, there's role opportunity for some, like, freshman to sophomore leaps from guys I really believe in. Yeah. Still got Klesman in the fold. Blackwell's going to take a jump too. I really like him. Uh, Crowell's back. Crowell's back. Crowell's real good. Yeah, I, I like it. Yeah. Okay. So, Wisconsin gets our first better. That's interesting. The Big Cat's cooked. Yeah. Uh, N- Nebraska was 30th last season. I think they're going to be worse. They're losing a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm sad about it because it was fun when they were good, but I think it's pretty clear they're going to take a step backwards in the post case. Yeah. Unless, unless Hoiberg gets to cooking. Could happen. He's handsome. He is. 
He he knows how to portal. Northwestern finished 41st last season. They lose best player in program history, Budarius Lamar Bowie Jr. But they're getting Ty Berry back. I think they're going to be better. That's crazy. How? Do they get Langborg back or no? In my head, yes, but probably not. I wish Ty Berry didn't get hurt. I would feel so much better about this because, like, who knows what he's going to be after his knee injury. I know. Ugh, okay. No, it's not fair. They're going to be worse. They, they lost Boo. I just can't process them taking a step forward after Boo. If they got, like, a transfer point guard or something, maybe. I do think Barry will be really good. but That will also absolutely murder our narrative if somehow. They get better. No, yeah, like, Basketball Jones would win. Yeah, we can't let that happen. Yeah, like that. Long live, long live basketball, John. Long live here, here. Ohio State, 49th. They're going to be worse. I don't know how. I don't know how. I think they're going to be better. I think they're going to be better. Um, I think Michi's good as much as it's clunky. Like, I, I think Michi's a good player. And between Bruce Thornton and Michi, you have two guys that I do believe in individually. They're also getting rid of Zed Key. <laughs> uh, Felix Akpara is back. They're trying to get some Zed big was, Zed Key was their best big last season. Yeah. That's part of why they were 49th. Um, I, I think they're going to get Aaron Bradshaw. I wish they were keeping Scotty Middleton because I believe in him still. But, like, I don't know. I just think there's work to be done. They'll add a couple portal guys. I believe in the backcourt's talent. And maybe most importantly, I think they actually might have a better coach. Maybe. Lose Roddy Gale? I don't think you're losing sleep over that. You should be. And I'm excited about Roddy Gale, my future shooting guard. But I don't who, know. Who's, who's a better player, Michi Johnson or Roddy Gale? I think Roddy Gale, but I think like – like you, they just needed new vibes in that locker room. Like there, there was something about Bruce and Roddy that didn't work. You had to shake it up. It's not new vibes. He was already there. Not with this group of guys. I yeah, I just, I I couldn't hate this backcourt more. I really it's, could not. It's not good if you are out on Ohio State, but you are. I've never, I've never been more out. Yeah, Oregon, fifty fifth. Now in the Big Ten, are they better or worse? I th- mm. I think they'll be better. I think they'll be better, only because they had that ex- they had that tournament run last season. Obviously, they lose Dante, which is going to hurt massively. But I like what I saw from the young guys last year: Shellstad, Kwame Evans. Um, if those guys take leaps, which I think they can. I think this team would be better than that. Altman's also the one coach who's coming over from the Pac-12 that I think can kind of twist Big Ten coaches a little bit. Like, he's mm. a he's a great coach, great X's and O's guy that runs great stuff. And I think it's going to be hard for Big Ten coaches to prepare for him the first time around. We saw Kevin Willard, like, have success because he was different. And then everybody got a scout on Kevin Willard in year two, and it was like, oh, that guy stinks. <laughs> there might be a little bit of that with Altman, except Altman's better than Willard as a coach for sure. Uh, I'll say better. I agree with you. Wa- or, uh, no, excuse me. I skipped Iowa. How dare anybody skip Iowa? Iowa finished 57th last year, better or worse? I'm going to say it worse. They're just – they're losing an, their whole team. Um, and as much as I like Brock Harding and Owen Freeman, if that's it, that's just – that's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I, yeah, I don't like it. I think Owen Freeman takes a step backwards if he doesn't have good guards to play with. And like right now, who are the guards he's playing with? Brock Harding, that's it. Brock Harding. If, if the, if Sanford leaves, if Sanford doesn't go to the draft or, or I think he's in the draft right now, if he comes back, draft. I'll, I'll say they'll be better. Okay. Yeah. I, I think even if Sanford's back, if Perkins is gone and they don't get a good guard, I'm I'm worse. I don't know. Just all around weird vibes. We talked about it. Fran's kid is leaving. That that seems ominous to me. I think this could be disaster wheels fall off type season. Uh, Washington was 60th on Ken Palm last season. Better or worse? 
worse. I'm not a Danny Sprinkle guy. Yeah. I'm with you. It would he would need to bring like his whole team with him, and then I would maybe buy it in year one. Um, but we also saw them against one Big Ten team at the end of the season, and they got pieced by forty. So yeah, badly. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Uh, I also I do think there's going to be a big adjustment for a lot of the Pac-12 teams just going through a Big Ten schedule. It's a completely different world than what they experienced in the Pac-12. Travel is going to suck for them. And if you don't have a win now ready roster, I think you're going to lose a lot of games. Maryland finished sixty second. Jacoby Gillespie's in. Jameer Young is out. Julian Reese is back. Deshaun Harris-Smith is back. Derek Queen is in. It's gross still, but there's talent there. Are they better or worse than 62nd? They will be better. They will be better. I understand that it's a little bit gross still, but I think Gillespie's one of the one of the better guards at, in the country it, as far as transfers. I think he's going to be really good. Um, Derek Queen... We all know my love for him. I think he's going to be good. Not necessarily the biggest fan of the fit with him and Julian Reese, but I think it'll work. I think they'll make it work. And they can just find some type of shooting. I know that they were in the port. They're in the portal still trying to add people. Uh, Connor Seaton was actually just recently on a visit there. Uh, if he could provide some shooting on that team, that could really help them out. If Deshaun Harris Smith can do anything offensively this season, that would also help them out. Um, maybe he you know, bounces back somewhat his sophomore year. Uh, I think the team's going to be better. I think you have to bet on better just because it was such a disaster season at 62. Um, but I still – I'm really concerned. Like, I don't I don't think they're a top 25 team unless you get a legitimate shooting threat that is like a starter-level player here. Um, I also, like – I kind of wish Deshaun Harris-Smith would just leave go somewhere <laughs> else, like, with all due respect – but like, is that really a guy you want to like bank your whole season on again in a starting role? I, I I'm assuming. I thought. Well, they're still active in the portal. We don't know. I guess. I just. It seems to me like they're. He's our starting shooting guard. We'll see what happens. And that that seems gross to me. Uh okay. Where are we here? Moving down the list. Penn State, seventy seventh. Worse. Yeah, I think they get worse too. I think you see some true colors from Mike Rhodes emerge as time goes on, and I don't think they're good. Yeah, they're also not playing a lot of games in the rec center. Yeah, Minnesota, 78th. Uh, worse. Why worse? I'm going better here. I, they lose pain. Um, That's it. Are they, getting, are they getting Garcia back? They're getting Garcia back. I believe they're going to get Christy back after he goes through the draft stuff, unless he declares. I think okay, they get, Hawkins they, is back. Okay, actually, I changed that. I forgot they're getting Dawson Garcia back. They're yeah. going to be better. I think better too. I think this was a good core that figured some things out at the end of the year and they just need to do it from the beginning of the year next season. He needs to get Christy back. He needs to yeah. He needs to get him back. If Christy is back, which I think will happen, they're gonna be really good though. Like really yeah. like a problem in the Big Ten. Uh, USC finished fifteen and eighteen in the Pac twelve, eighty fifth on Ken Palm. They're gonna be better. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Muss is gonna get some guys. Where was Muss's team this year? Muss's Arkansas team was worse than this USC team. It's it's tough to play when the drama is surrounding the program. But Muss, that's the point is Muss doesn't have guys to bring with him right now. So, like, Muss is really like, starting from But he'll get guys, though. In a year, in a year or two down the line. Like, if you don't have guys you can bring with you and there's no one to inherit from the last roster, good luck. It'll be better. I'm taking worse. I think uh, USC could could be the worst team in the Big Ten in year one of the Muss era, and then it'll get spicy from there. Indiana, 91st. I have them in my top ten, so I'm saying better. better. Yeah, better. Easy, yeah. Easily better. Highest riser to me from year They were year. 91st? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Rutgers at 100. They went 15 and 17 last year, and now they bring in two the two best players in the country. Other than better. Here. Are we sure? Yes. I'm not sure. I'm positive. I'm going to say better, but I'm not sure. I'm positive. I think this offense could be a disaster. And they're it like last year's offense was 298th in Ken Palm. The defense was fifth. If the defense drops to like 100 because you got freshmen that don't want to guard and the offense is still bad. There's a world here where it's train wreck season. There really is. They will be better. Your defense ain't going to be nearly as good without Cliff. 
defense from each fence. <laughs> yeah. What, Peichel's going to actually coach a good offense for the first time in his career? Third, he hard. <sighs> I don't know. I don't. I don't think I see it. Uh oh! I skipped over UCLA. Excuse me. UCLA is ninety eighth. I think they'll be higher. This league stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I think UCLA is going to be higher too, but it's just a pure hope. Hope this that Sky league, Clark's this good. League just stinks. Well, like like UCLA's best player, Sky Clark, and we love Sky, but like they got Kobe Johnson too. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, did they get somebody else that I'm missing? Is like is Mara coming back or any of those dudes back? I have no clue to be honest. With the you. one Jan Vide is in the portal. I haven't heard about the other guys that were supposed to be good that stunk. And Dylan Andrews was solid last season. They get him back. Yeah, true. All right, and last but least, uh, Michigan, one hundred twenty eighth last season. They'll be better. We say that one again. They'll be better. A lot better. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You guys were the worst Ken Palm team in the Big Ten last season. Yeah. Ooh. Did you not expect that? We won eight games. <laughs> bomb asses. A lot better. That was a bomb. Say it, Cart. Say it. Y'all are gonna be, be-, y'all are gonna be better. How how much better? A like, lot. A I like, lot better. I like, I like you said you're 128, you'll probably be like 77 spots better. A lot better. You will be a lot better. Can be a lot worse. Just want to hear you say it. I don't know if you can be worse. Can it's it about be worse? Get, it's about to get real dusty in here, Cart. It's about to. It may. It may get dusty in here. I don't know. My theory about Dusty, though, is that's his – he just lets everything get dusty, and when the dust settles and the dust clears, there might not be anything there. Except for Final Four runs. No, I'm talking about all the, all the the all this hoopla. All these players, all oh. the dust clears. There's no one there. Mm. No you golden one, hour. You get one. You get one. One black golden, and you'll like it, and then go home. Great player. That is a great player. Who's passing to him? Jace and George Washington the third. <laughs> no, no, we're working on guards. We're working on okay. It's probably that still like a snap my fingers, Bruce Pearl. Give me your backcourt. Like that's hey Bruce. I li- okay, hey, Bruce. I like- Bruce. That is Bruce. That is. Bruce, calm down, Bruce. Ours now, Bruce. Okay. Fight. Fight also, Bruce. also, I am seeing a lot of the guards that you're in for shaking astronomical amount of ass for a lot of programs right now. Like who? Like I was, I, a Siegen's all over the country taking visits, taking pics. Yeah, Siegen is an afterthought. If he wants to come, oh. fine. If he doesn't, we're we're not worried about comments. Yeah. John L. Davis out here definitely shaking. John L. can shake. John L. When you can shake like that, you get a price tag on you. That's crazy statement right now. <laughs> Insane statement. Uh, no, I'm just I'm like you said. Like let's, let's get over. Look at this one. Here's the hump. It's elevated. Let's get over that. Let's get one right. We we have a hump to get over for sure. We do. We do. The nice thing about our hump is our hump was created by a guy who's no longer in the program. Like he's not allowed in the facilities. Oh, so, he's no, no, no. He's still there. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. As long as his son's on the team, he has a he's way in. He's not there. He's not there. He's not there. Then you know the interesting thing about your program is the hump that's your program is trying to get over is created by the guy in charge of the program who's never leaving until he dies. Yeah. Yeah. And still, yet, what, 100 and 100 some spots better than you on Ken Palm? It was a bad year last year, man. It really was. The bad fact year for us, bad year for us, too. It was, yeah. Bad year, 16th on Ken Well, Palm. I don't know that it was a bad year for y'all. I think, honestly, last year was one of your better years in recent memory. Should we move on? One big thing presented by – one big thing. You're out, Big B. We haven't we haven't done our third topic yet. <laughs> yes, we did. Reed Shepard. Oh my God, I am I'm tripping. 